welcome back to our channel so today's topic is systemic complications of local anesthesia and the management of anaphylaxis so this is a very important topic from your oral surgery final year local anesthesia is a must know topic for all dental students irrespective of the year and management of anaphylaxis is important not only for your exams but it's very important that you know how to manage a patient undergoing an anaphylactic reaction in your dental practice and you're well equipped to deal with the situation so let's see in detail we know there are two types of local anesthetics with vasoconstrictors and without vasoconstrictor that is with or without epinephrine so in case of local anesthetic anesthetic solution with vasoconstrictor or with epinephrine the allowed dose is 7 mg per kg body weight of the patient and without epinephrine or vasoconstrictor it is 4 to 5 mg per kg body weight of the patient so this is a very important point that you can just add on so the list of systemic complications of edla you can easily memorize this with the help of a mnemonic just remember the picture of a sad tom sad tommy that is a mnemonic for systemic complication So S is for syncope. So we have done a separate video on syncope. The link is given in the description. S for syncope. A for allergy, which we'll be dealing with in detail. D for drug interactions. T for toxicity. O for overdose. M for methemoglobinemia. And I for idiosyncrasies. So now let's see the management of anaphylaxis. So you know that anaphylaxis is a life-threatening condition, and it may start as a simple rash or uh, urticaria, pruritus, itching, angioedema, swelling under the skin, as soon as you administer the local anesthetic, and then it may proceed to become a respiratory distress, or it may result in wheezing, difficulty in breathing, and finally it may even lead to cardiac arrest. So now let's see step by step. Like we discussed, the first step is to actually identify the anaphylactic reaction. Second one is to place the patient in supine position with legs elevated slightly. And the third one is to give access to airway, breathing, and circulation. So the A B C is very important. You have to make sure that the patient's airway is not compromised. You can do the head tilt or the chin lift. You have to make sure the patient is breathing and circulation is normal. Then you have to call for medical assistance for emergency medical assistance. Without any delay, administer intramuscular injection of epinephrine, point three mL for adults and point one five mL for children, and repeat the same dose after five minutes if there is no improvement in the patient or if the condition deteriorates. now monitor the vital signs so every 5 minutes you have to monitor the vital signs the blood pressure and heart rate is measured every 5 minutes now in this acute phase of anaphylactic reaction the two main things you'll be doing is intramuscular injection of epinephrine and the administration of oxygen so these two things will be the main things you'll be doing during this acute phase and then once the medical assistance is somewhat as a follow follow up or as an additional drug therapy you can give histamine blockers or corticosteroids intramuscularly or intravenously now other interventions that you will be giving are bronchodilators like we discussed in anaphylactic reaction there is bronchospasm so to overcome this you can give bronchodilators come in cpr if required so we said every 5 minutes we are going to monitor the vital signs and if there is no improvement you will have to commence cpr or chest compressions others include antihistamines and oral steroids to reduce the risk of side effects after a severe reaction so that's it guys that is about the management of anaphylaxis and the list of systemic complication So this is how the question is usually framed. I hope this video was helpful and if you found it helpful please forward to your friends. Also like, share and subscribe to our channel and also tap on the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos. Thank you.